You don't have to be a velvet jacketed, cigar smoking, library lounging cat to know your brown stuff. We have asked experts for their recommendations on the best whiskey brands for a variety of pricing points, as well as the smoothest, easiest to drink bottles on the market. No matter if you are a whiskey expert or someone who is just starting the exciting journey of getting to know whiskey. If you are over the permitted age for drinking and are interested in whiskey, then there is no excuse for missing out on some of these. Whether you like bourbon, rye, Irish, Scotch, or Japanese whiskey, we have found the perfect bottle for your next after dinner drink, but before we proceed, feel free to like this video, and subscribe. The first whiskey brand on our list is Henry McKenna, single barrel 10 year. Bourbon doesn't get much better than this Henry McKenna single barrel. It won best in show whiskey at the 2019 San Francisco World Spirits Competition, which is one of the highest honors for any brand. Plus, this bottle is only the second bourbon to get the award. Henry McKenna is part of the Kentucky-based Heaven Hill Distillery, which is known for other award-winning whiskies such as Elijah Craig Bourbon, Larceny Bourbon, and Pikesville Rye Whiskey. This specific bottle of McKenna comes from a single barrel of bourbon that's been aged 10 years, but despite that prestigious number, the whiskey isn't too expensive at all. 2 is Glenfiddich Time Reimagined Collection. We think all whiskey newbies should try a top-shelf bottle, if possible, to get the full picture of what whiskey can be. This Glenfiddich Time Reimagined Collection is a good way to do just that. Its maturity has shaved down the bite, letting you fully appreciate the whiskey's elegant subtleties. There are three single malt scotch whiskies available, starting from the 30-year-old sold for $3,000 to the exclusive 50-year-old blend sold for $50,000, with only 220 decanters available worldwide. We personally love the depth of flavor and oaky yet fruity aftertaste on the 40-year-old cumulative time bottle. We were also pleasantly surprised with the 30-year-old blend, thanks to how incredibly smooth and complex it was, and how well it paired with game meat. Glenfiddich has been around since 1887 and is currently the world's best-selling single malt whiskey. The storied brand is a staple in any whiskey connoisseur's bar, and certainly worth trying if you're just getting into the spirit. If you're a long-time whiskey drinker, then you probably know that every bottle from the Time Reimagined collection is a damn good whiskey, through and through. Pick it up as a very nice gift for any fellow whiskey lovers, or tuck it away for special occasions. 3 is Uncle Nearest 1856. Uncle Nearest 1856 has a fascinating story to rival its premium taste. The brand's namesake is a man named Nathan Nearest Green, who was the first black master distiller. Born into slavery, Green helped invent modern Tennessee whiskey and passed that knowledge along to a promising pupil, Jack Daniel. A black-owned brand, Uncle Nearest 1856 launched in 2017 to honor Green's importance in American spirits. The whiskey is fragrant, floral, fruity, and incredibly smooth despite the fact that it's 100 proof, thanks to at least 8 years of aging. It's been well received by the whiskey community with top marks across the board, and we have to agree. 4 is Sia Scotch Whiskey. Karen Luna Ostaseski created Sia Scotch Whiskey for all of you Scotch curious individuals out there. The idea was to change the misconception that Scotch is only enjoyed by the grandfathers of the world. She's also one of the first Hispanic women to ever own a Scotch whiskey brand, a brand that came to fruition through a crowdfunded Kickstarter campaign over two years ago. The finished product is a beautiful amber and gold-toned bottle of Scotch whiskey, with notes of honey, citrus, and smoky vanilla. The drink's subtle flavor is complemented by its smooth yet refreshing finish, making this a great option for new Scotch drinkers. We suggest first trying this option neat, or over ice and then experimenting with your favorite scotch-based cocktails. The Sia Glasgow Mule is our favorite, but the brand's website also has a whole range of other cocktails you can try experimenting with. 5 is Celtic Cask. The Celtic Cask brand is courtesy of the Celtic Whiskey Store, one of the world's most known whiskey stores. Scotsman Ally Alpine founded the whiskey retailer in Dublin in 2003. His retail store has now been crowned the best whiskey retailer worldwide by World Whiskey Awards. The store was crowned the best non-Scottish independent bottler of the year by the Independent Bottlers Challenge as a result of the launching of the Celtic cask portfolio. What they all have in common is that they are all single cask expressions, 
a category Alpine introduced to the mainstream whiskey market. New releases in the Celtic Cask series sell out rapidly, raising the price of a bottle too far over $100. Each bottle of the Celtic Cask series, however, is unique, and to own one is to unquestionably own one of Ireland's best whiskies. 6 is Mars Whiskey. Mars Whiskey, Marusu Wisuchi, is the whiskey brand name for the Kagoshima Prefecture based company Hambo Shuzo. Although not as huge as the last two companies on this list, Mars Whiskey is a popular brand among Japanese whiskey lovers. Since 1949, Mars Whiskey has been making whiskey. Local whiskey brands were popular in Japan during the 1960s and 1970s. This popularity is supposed to have begun with this whiskey brand in particular. The Shinshu Distillery in Nagano and the Tsunuki Distillery in Kagoshima are the two main distilleries for Mars Whiskey. Their product portfolio includes three single malt whiskies and eight blended whiskies. They also offer three different brands of brandy. Popular brands include Cosmo, their top single malt brand, as well as their blended brands Twin Alps and Shinshu. 4. Is Connemara Peat is most commonly associated with Scotch whiskey, yet Connemara is a peated Irish whiskey that combines the best of both cultures. Connemara is, in reality, one of the only peated Irish whiskies on the market, and the only one that is widely available. Peated whiskey is made from barley that has been infused with the smoke of burning peat or soil. This method infuses tastes of soil, brine, and smoke into the finished spirit, making it distinct, powerful, and robust. This aggressiveness complements the delicate essence of Irish whiskey brilliantly. The peat complements and enhances the milder, more subtle aromas of malted barley to create a whiskey that is inviting and complex. Connemara's 12-year expression elevates this nuance, as the punch of the peat is balanced by a lengthier maturity, resulting in an even more balanced spirit that is as delightful as it is brawny. 5. Is Spot Whiskey The runner-up on this ranking devotes its whole operation to single-pot still whiskies, the most traditional and distinct type of Irish whiskey. Spot whiskey was created in 1805 by Irish rebel William Mitchell as Mitchell & Son, a wine-buying and selling enterprise. The business began bonding whiskey in 1887, and its cask that had previously held fortified wine were the ideal vehicle for maturing its single pot still whiskies. The spot collection extends from the 7-year-old blue spot to the 15-year-old red spot, with each bottle named after a hue. Between are three expressions of green spot, gold spot, and yellow spot, each of which is matured in a variety of casks including French and Spanish wine, bourbon casks, and others. Green Spot is the brand's most prestigious expression, a blend of single pot stills matured between 7 and 10 years in bourbon and sherry casks. 6 is Kirin. Kirin, called Chirin in Japanese, together with Suntory and Asahi, is one of Japan's three major beverage businesses, featuring well-known brands such as Kirin Beer, Fire Coffee, and Gogo no Kocha. When it comes to whiskey, it began later than its main competitors, with a smaller brand range. Their whiskey brands, on the other hand, have great popularity among Japanese whiskey fans. Kirin began producing whiskey in the 1970s with the launch of their first brand, Robert Brown. The Mount Fuji distillery in Shizuoka is the major distillery. Some of their well-known trademarks are Robert Brown, Fuji, and Riku. I hope this list was helpful for you. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment on the whiskies you've had, mentioned on this list. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when we drop our next video on the best shirt brands you should include in your closet.